and never. It's never late and never. And the sermon's going to change just a little bit. But we're going to do the books, then we're going to march in with the pastor and stuff. But I want y'all to help me sign this old song here because we all, we're all going to have to be sick and dead. Yeah. Yeah. We all need the Lord to help us. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere or another. Amen. We all ought to thank the good Lord for our journey. Amen. Lord, we just thank you for this day. This day. Amen. We ain't gonna let the devil handle us. Not the day we ain't. Because it all belongs to God. Amen. And we're gonna count it all joy. Amen. So y'all have to get started this morning. <clears throat> Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. For my
this morning, when we got in that automobile this morning, my father, God, we didn't get in that deal, automobile by ourselves. You aborted and brought us down to Hopewell Baptist Church one more time. God, we thank you this morning. God, we thank you this morning that we are still close in our right mind this morning. Lord, I 
know. Lord, I know you are the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, yeah. Lord, I know that you will not fail us. Yeah. If it's not holy, mighty will, you will not fail us. Yeah. Lord, we thank you. Yeah. Lord, I ask you to bless the pastor of this church, bless all the guests, members, the bless the congregation for coming out their family, whoever and wherever they come from, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for bringing them, Jesus. Yeah. For in here, Lord, you, you brought them out, you kept old out the way, you kept harm out the way, Lord. You got them here safe, Jesus. And Lord, I want to thank you for that, Lord. For let them come in and join us today. They made this a good homecoming. Pastor Alan Verge, the Bible Pastor, F. R. Smith, and his family. Lord, we thank you for his 19th, 19th, Lord, anniversary. I know it's for him, Lord, there's been some ups and downs, some hills for him. But you stood in the way and you kept old Satan, Lord. You kept blocking old Satan, Lord, and got him to his 19th year. And I ask you, Lord, to move Satan from this place. Send him on, Lord, down the road, Lord, with you in charge, Lord. And we ask you, Lord, to continue to bless us, hold us in the hand, Lord, like a wink and a change, that everything will be all right, regardless of what we're going through, church. Please trust in our Lord and Savior. Yes. You know his time not like our time. Right. You know, Lord, I, I have called upon him look like he just wouldn't come. Right. But Lord, he came. Yes. He just didn't come right then. All right. All right. Lord, have mercy upon us. In All Jesus' right. name we pray. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.
And we got friends that come that have to make this a great day. All right? And let us just show our love and appreciation on this great day. The order of service, the devotion have already been uh, taken care of. So we are going to follow the program. And next will be a selection from the choir. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes choir and Hopewell choir. Scripture, yeah. Reverend Billy Joyner. Mm -hmm. Announcement and acknowledgement yeah. of this week, even George Heron. Welcome, Sister Carolyn Garrett. Yeah. A tribute to First Lady, Sister Beverly yeah. Ballinger. A tribute to our pastor, Deacon German Ballinger. Song, Sister Glory Williams. And we will, I will come back to you after that. And we will go by the program as it has been read thus far. Amen.
hope the church say amen. 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 I'm going to call your attention to the book. 1 Timothy chapter 3, please. 1 Timothy chapter 3, we would begin reading at the first verse. I'll begin reading at the first verse. May we stand, please. We all have it. Let us all say amen. Amen. And it reads as thus. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desires the good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to to wine, no striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. One that ruled well his own house, having the children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Mm -hmm. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Amen. May God add a blessing to the hearers, readers, and the doers of his holy word. God bless you. Again, I'd like to thank all the visitors and friends coming out, helping us celebrate our pastor's 19th anniversary. And before we, I get started, normally we have a, a portion where we ask the visitors to stand and acknowledge, give the knowledge to you and have you say a few words. But for the sake of time, I'm going to just say welcome to all the visitors. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate you. And I hope you enjoy the services for today. To Pastor Smith, other ministers in the congregation, these are our announcements. Sunday school is every Sunday at 10 a.m. Worship service follows at 11 a.m. Prayer service is on Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. followed by Bible study at 7 p.m. Please turn in announcements as early as possible. Announcements may be placed in the finance room to the attention of the announcer. Please have them neatly printed or typed. Thank you from the announcer. And that's normally Sister Ballinger. All right. I have an announcement from the Body of Christ Church International, 2207 28th Street, Phoenix City, Alabama. Saturday, October 1st, 2022, Pastor and Dr. Gregory Blue, and they're having a Kings of Gospel Fest on Saturday, October the 1st, 2022, at 4 p.m. And one of the guests will be the Williams Girls Club of Columbus, Georgia. And that's the only one I can make out but that will be performing that day. But try to make it if you can. Happy birthday and happy anniversary to everyone celebrating a birthday and anniversary this week. The celebration list is posted on the bulletin board in the foyer and in Porter Hall. 1 Thessalonians verse, chapter 5, verse 18. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God and Christ Jesus concerning you. The current sick committee is Brother Curtis Giddings at 706-329. 2568, Deacon Wilbur Shingles at 229-942-0023, and Sister Jeanette Brown at 706-563-8878. And also the prayer, sick and shut-in list is posted on the bulletin board in the foyer and in Porter Hall. And again, please, if you know anyone uh, that needs our attention, let us know. We can't 
visit them or say anything to them or help them out if we don't know that they're <coughs> sick. So please, if you know of anyone that's sick, let us know. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. Praise be to the, to, to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comfort us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received. The bereavement committee is Deacon Lennon Brown at 706-577-9366, Deacon James Turner at 706-570-3019, Deacon Wilbur, William Foster excuse me, at 706-617-0227, and myself, Deacon George Herring at 706-987-3470. And again, this will normally be the time that we would ask the visitors to say, and again, I want to appreciate your coming, and you're all welcome. <laughs> welcome to our church family. I'm glad that you could come. I'm honored to share this day with you as we worship God's risen Son. I hope that God has touched your life as we worship side by side. We pray that you leave with the praise of God inside. Thank you. Back in hands and full bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting old and seen now. Getting that age. <laughs> well, we're going to have refreshments, uh, dinner served uh, in Porter Hall. And please, the table at the rear set up for the pastor, the visiting ministers, and their family. Say again. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. All right. That's the end of my announcement. He's got it. All right. Thanks, Sister Gary. All right. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you. Oh, Heavenly Father, teach me what to say, how to say it, oh, Heavenly Father. Right. Oh, Heavenly Father, I must give you the glory and I must give you the honor, oh, Heavenly Father. For all those who are here, I ask him to teach me what to say, how to say it, and when to say it. But I must start with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I must acknowledge him at all times. Oh, gracious Father, you are the one while we are here, oh, Heavenly Father. We give you the glory, we give you the honor, oh, Heavenly Father. And you know what? In order to appreciate what God has done for us, I'm going to hit you with the fruit of the Spirit. For each one, I'm only going to give you three because that is enough. Love, because he is love. Amen. Joy. Let nobody steal your joy. Amen. Because of who he is, peace. We must possess that peace within each of us, oh Heavenly Father. Because, oh Heavenly Father, sometimes we are down here. We don't know which way to go, nor turn, but we look towards the hill. We see you, O oh Heavenly Father, on that old work at cross, stretched out, O oh Heavenly Father. You died for our sin, O oh Heavenly Father. You did no wrong, O oh Heavenly Father. O oh Heavenly Father, we are your people. And O oh Heavenly Father, I'm asking from above, O oh Heavenly Father, to welcome each and every one of your children, O oh Heavenly Father, because you love us first and we must love you. And with this in mind, O oh gracious Father, you are all welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. Good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. He will not forget your work, Hebrews 6 and 10. To our beloved First Lady, when we thank God for our pastor, we must give him thanks for two. When, we're, when your husband comes to us, God also sent you to us too. All right. Your presence blesses all of us who know you from day to day. As our pastor's wife, you are serving God in a fine and worthy way. So, Ms. Smith, 
that Hope Well Baptist Church couldn't ask for a more humble, quiet, and thoughtful pastor's wife. Amen. From us, never change. Keep being the sweetest person anyone could know. And hold to God's unchanging hand. Right. We love you, we love you, we love you. Right. And happy 19th anniversary. And wish y'all many more.
give up. Yeah. Have that faith. Yeah. Now we might have the altar call prayer. The altar call is a very important part of service. That is when you have been wrestling and with God. Trying to have it your way and it's just not working out. And then also you can wrestle with yourself. As you said in Sunday school this morning. But when you put your faith and trust in the Lord, things will work out. That's why we have a side of a part set aside in the service. That way we can stand right now. You can stand where you are. God know your heart and he know your desire. And he wants you to bring it to him. He wants you to let him know about it. He already know about it. And he will answer in his time. And when you bring it to him, that's another step you got to take. You first got to believe in him. And then you have to wait on him because he don't work in your time. It is in his time when things is going to take place. So that's why. And this let you know that it's, it's so important. And especially in times like these. All right. To put our faith and trust in the Lord. Turn it over to Him. Let Him work it out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord, Let Him work it out. Mm -hmm. And before we go into prayer that we have a sickness. I don't have names now, but God knows the names. All right. And God wants us to pray. We first pray for ourselves, and then we can pray for others. All right. And we have some in nursing home, in the hospital, some uh, in rehab. Yes, God know all about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we just come unto Him in prayer. All right. Our Father in heaven, yeah. it's in the name of Jesus that we come before you. Knowing heaven the Father that you made us and you know all about us. Yes, and we come, Father, right now just asking you to have mercy upon us. Yes. Already you have given us the amount of grace and mercy that we need. Yes. And we are praying, Heaven the Father, that we would just continue on, Father, that we will be obedient to the Holy Spirit. Yes. As it will lead us and guide us throughout the day. Yes. Help us, Father, to know Heaven the Father that some things we just can't handle, we have to turn it over to you. Yes. And we are just praying in the name of Jesus that, that you would just have mercy upon us as we come. Yes. The ones that are bringing things before you for right now, Father. Yes. We are praying, Heavenly Father, that you will bless them and let your will be done. Yes. Help them to have the faith and, and walk away, Father, knowing that you don't make any mistakes. Yes. That you got all power in your hand and you are able to do all things. Yes. Help us to put our trust in thee and lean not to our own understanding. Yes. Father, we need you. Yes. We need you just to Help us to hold on a little while longer. Yes. Help us to don't give up because we, we have come too far to turn around now. Yes. Yes. Help us, Father, in times like these. Yes. Help us just to continue on, Father, just to trust yes. in, in you. Yes. Yes. Father, have mercy. Yes. Bless the ones that are in the hospital, in the home, in the rehab, whatever the case may be, Father, you already know. And we are coming to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would just bless them. And Father, as we continue on in this service, this is a special day for our pastor, 
and his family and the church family. And we're just praying for a blessing upon the pastor that you would bless him to continue on preaching that word in season and out of season. Father, just have mercy. Bless his, his wife. Yes. Bless her, Father, that you, she will stand by him. Yeah. Yeah. Help her, Father, mm -hmm. and his family in whatever way they're standing in need of. Oh, yes. 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 Father, we just thank you. Thank, thank you for this day and praying, Father, that the celebration will be in that love that comes from our heart. Yes, yes, Lord. Father, we just thank you. Thank we you, thank you and we praise your mighty name because yes. we know that you is in charge. Yes. We just thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Bless us that we will continue on. Yes, Lord. Just trusted in you. We thank you, Father. Amen. We pray this prayer, and it's in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We do pray. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 We are going to continue. Next, we're going to have the introduction of speaker, Elder Art Meadow. Then we have the anniversary song. Ella Timothy L. Maddox Sr. Invitation to Discipleship. Selection will be guest choir. And it said, Hope we're a choir. Then we have the presentation. Sister Shavara Harold and Sister Menon Smith. Remarks by Pastor F. R. S. Smith. Remarks, grace, and benediction of Timothy L. Maddox. And the last thing on the program, dinner will be served. We can continue to go by the program as it has been written. Thank you. 
the song I'm going to introduce to others. The pastor and worker of Baptist Church in Tennessee. Amen. Amen. As he come in his own way, in your heart, in your mind. Yeah. Pray and ask God to give him strength. Yes. Amen. 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 That he may feed us from on high. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know about you, but I need a word. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 When you need something, you need to go to God. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. And when you're able to give you all you need. That's yes. right. Yes, sir. In the word of God. Amen. So I present to you and introduce to you uh, L. Timothy L. Matters. <laughs>
a story to tell. Yeah. God has been good to him. Yeah. I want to thank God for my wife. Amen. Sandra Mallow. I believe I, is that Pastor Smith Hill. Amen. God bless you. I'm grateful for the choir who have blessed our hearts today. These musicians. God bless them. I, I just believe in encouragement. Encouragement, uh, Brother Joseph. Uh, it's parakaleo, which means to come alongside. All right. and sometimes along this journey, it gets hard. Yeah. Yeah. And so, just a word of encouragement sometimes will motivate yeah. people to run on a little while and yeah. see what the end will be. I thank God for the deacons, both of this church and other churches. Uh, Deacon Matt out from Mount Hill is blessed willing to come and share with us today. Thank God for the deacon wives and spiritual ladies of the church. Thank God for the ushers as they're standing their posts and to all of my father's children. That's right. It's good to be here. Somebody said if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. God blessed us to be able to serve in this area for 22 years, almost 23. And some of uh, church family was willing to come today. I will always call them my church family, my Hill, Miss Julia, and uh, Sister Marissa. Amen. You, you are a member in anyway. All right. Yeah, right. Sister Tia Arnold. Amen. Amen. All of my yeah. family who is here. Amen. I'm grateful for them. Yes, sir. Let's get to it. All right. Let's get to it. Acts chapter 20. All right. My pastor shared with me when I first started preaching and brother who was going on here with the Lord. My Uncle Benny, I was blessed to have preachers in my life. All right. They would constantly say to me, always remember that the pulpit is not a playground. All right. Amen. Amen. Serious business takes place yeah. All right. up here. Mm -hmm. For it is the word of God mm -hmm. which we preach. Right. Not ourselves, but we yeah. preach Jesus. Yeah. Him crucified, buried, and resurrected. Oh, yes. yeah. If you have your Bible, Acts chapter 20. We want to read beginning at verse 28. Do solicit and ask for your prayers. No excuses, but an explanation. My sinuses are draining, and it is as if I have swimmer's ear. I'm stopped up and can barely hear. But God's grace is sufficient. Yeah, yeah. Pray for us. Glad to see Sister Martha Hood in the house. One who has known us since we were younger than a teenager. Yet she's willing to come and share with us today. Amen. Acts chapter 20, verse 28. If you have it, and if you don't mind, will you stand with me and read? Acts chapter 20, verse 28. Beginning at verse 28. started calling names, which I should not have done, but I'm just grateful to see all of my family and friends. Drill, right. good to see you. Acts chapter 20, verse 28. 
Are you there? Say amen. 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 From the King James Version, Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers to feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood. It goes on to say, For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. And the church said amen. amen. As you go to your seats and with your prayers and your amens. Amen. I like to teach and preach using this thought, a faithful watchman over God's flock. A faithful watchman over God's flock. That same Verse 28 from the Amplified Bible, Mama reads, Take care mm -hmm. and be on guard for yourselves and the whole flock over which the Holy Spirit has appointed you bishops and guardians to shepherd, to tend and feed and guide the church of the Lord or of God which he obtained for himself. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. Buying it and saving it for himself with his own blood. Right. When we hear those words, Paul in essence is giving a charge. Mm -hmm. And I believe every pastor, we must commit to the words of that old 100 uh, he owned a charge to keep our hand. Yeah, yeah. A God to glory, fire, who gave his son my soul to save uh -huh. and fit it for the sky. Yeah. To serve this present age, yeah. my calling to fulfill. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh man, all my power engage. I want to do my master's will. Yeah. When we consider the term watchman. In the framework of the Bible, watchmen were guards. <laughs> Those who were responsible for protecting towns and military installations right. from surprise enemy attacks and other potential dangers. All right. All right. Think about a watchman. Reverend Story shared that he retired from the military in my short stint in the United States Marine Corps, uh, there was a rotation among those who were in the platoon. All right. Everybody had a one hour shift uh -huh. yeah. where they had to stand watch or guard right. over the camp uh -huh. to make sure no enemy would come in or infiltrate yeah. uh, and catch the truth by surprise. Yeah, yeah. God has purpose. Yes, yeah. And given the pastor, the overseer, uh, the under shepherd to guard the integrity. Yeah. Yeah. To guard the character of his beloved. Yeah. 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 Because the fact of the matter is, and 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 I'm just going to be real about it, everybody that among the number is not really part of the number. Yeah, yeah. Do you do understand that just because the flock gathers is not just the flock who show up. But sometimes goats will be present. Sometimes in the valley when the shepherd was guiding the sheep there were snakes down in the valley. The 
true church. Yeah. Uh -huh. Of those who will yield to, uh -huh. yeah. submit to, bow down to the voice uh -huh. of God, the Lord Jesus, who is the good shepherd. Uh -huh. So we ask the question. What does the good shepherd tell the sheep to do? Uh -huh. He said, pray for those yeah. who spitefully miss you. Yeah. 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 The good shepherd said, bless those who curse you. Yeah. And so I believe what the Lord has called us to, Kevin Mullins, is countercultural. Uh -huh. The faith that he gives us is a faith that goes against the grain of what the world tries to present. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, the world today says, Tiana, when somebody has just gotten on your last nerves, it's alright to scratch them off your boot. Uh -huh. <laughs> but my question, Deacon Maddox, is what scripture do you have to go with that? Yeah. What if God dealt with us? Yeah. Yeah. Like we sometimes deal with one another. I believe unconditional love goes beyond what you can do for me. But unconditional love said, I'm going to love you in spite of you. Unconditional love said, when you might uh, disappoint me, let me down, when you might betray me, I'm going to love the devil out of us. God does not sanction some of the things that we uh, try to do as substitute to what the good shepherd has called us to do. And so that's the purpose that God has given the watchman to keep it before us. Not what we want to do, but the watchman says, these are the divine instructions. And so the response of faith is not my will. But Lord, let your will be done. In the Old Testament, the prophets job as watchmen was to urge God's people to live faithfully. His job was to warn them of the perils involved in falling away from the law. Yeah. Well. His job was to sound the law. Yes. Yeah. And to say that there is a storm approaching. Yeah. Well. You remember Ezekiel, the Lord said, Ezekiel, if you know and I've told you the storm is coming, right. and you don't proclaim and sound the trumpet, yeah. the blood will be required. At your hand. Yeah, yeah. But if yeah. you see the storm and I told you the storm is coming and you sound the trumpet uh -huh. and they don't adhere to what you say, the Lord said, Ezekiel, the blood won't be required at your hand. That's right. But the blood will be cried at their own hand. Uh -huh. I just stopped by to tell somebody today there's a storm. Yeah. Out on life's ocean. Yeah. Yes, and then move it this way. Yeah. If your soul yeah. is not in yeah. in the Lord, yes, it shall surely uh -huh. drift away. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, in our text, uh -huh. the apostle Paul is giving a solemn charge yes, to the watchmen, the pastors, the elders. The overseers in the church of God. Uh -huh. The apostle Paul is in this text, the background, he's on his way to Jerusalem. Yes, sir. And you understand that's that's a little strange for to be going to Jerusalem. Yes, because if you will, they had a bounty mm -hmm. on his head.
for Paul. Yeah. Paul understood I'm going to Jerusalem. Yeah. And a few verses before we get to 28, he said, I know I'm not going to see you again. Y'all yeah. right. yeah. ain't praying. Yes, sir. Paul knew yes. it was a strong possibility that he was on his way yeah. to his death for the cause of Christ. Yeah.
me talk about the preacher for a minute. Amen. Uh, the society in which we live. Yes, sir. Hard on preacher. Yeah. 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 The society in which we live. Uh -huh. uh, constantly want to dog the preacher. Yes, sir. Yeah. But this is, I'm, I'm a preacher's advocate. Come on. Not just because I'm a preacher, but I'm a preacher's advocate because the Bible said this. I, I didn't say it, so you 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 take God at His word. Yeah. He said, "Faith yeah. coming by here yeah. and hearing by the word of God."
We say when people join the church, uh -huh. this is a church where there is no big eye.
about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Got two sardines. Yeah. And five fish. Yeah. Jesus had bring it here. Yeah. All I'm telling you is sometimes God will take your little bit yeah. and make it serve somebody else. Yeah. But our problem is we got closed fists. Yeah. You can't nothing get in. Enough to believe mm -hmm. that uh, the pastor 
years ago. But in the eternal counsel of God, who is omniscient. In the eternal counsel of God, who is eternal. I believe the Lord, just like he said to Jeremiah.
and hope we are in the person of Pastor F. Yeah. 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 To look out yeah. among the yeah. Yeah. or beyond the yeah. boundary of the camp. Yeah. Yeah. And when he sees, yes, Paul said, when I leave, there's some wolves going to come. Yeah. 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 Not going to spare the flock. Yeah. From the outside. But then Paul also said, from among you, uh -huh. in your midst right now, you have some. Yeah. That instead of paddling in the boat, they're putting holes in the boat. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's some who don't want to see the church man. Yeah. Uh -huh. But this is our confidence. Uh -huh. Jesus said, upon this rock, this uh -huh. rock. Uh -huh. church folk are going to get happy about it. Uh -huh. I feel my church. Yeah. Yeah. The gates of hell shall yeah. not prevail. Yeah. Yeah. The gates have been through the storm and rain. Yeah. But I'm still here. Yeah. 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 Has some ups and downs. Uh -huh. uh, but hallelujah. Yeah. I'm still here. Yeah. How? Why? Why did you make it? Because the Lord Jesus. He's the keeper yeah. of our soul. Yeah. Yes, sir. He's a battle yeah. Yeah. In the time of battle, yeah. he's a shelter. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord. In the time of storm. Yeah. Yes, sir. My soul is just happy. Yeah. It's happy because when I think, I, I don't just thank God for the thing he has done. Yes, I thank God for the thing he didn't let happen. Yes, week after week, month after month, yes, my family and I have been traveling up and down. Yes, 75 and 40 and 85. Yes, seen accident. Yes, yes. Was held up 45 one time because the helicopter had to come and alley up somebody. Yeah. 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 I was only five cars back from the helicopter, so guess what? That means a few minutes earlier. It could have been. But God had a head to run. And, and, and this is what helps the people of God walk fearlessly. God is not going to let us leave this world until he gets ready.
to be faithful. But if you're faithful, the Lord will feel that. The Lord will say to you, come on up. A good and faithful servant. I'll make you ruler over many. If there are one today, I believe we're in the virtual space also. If you're at home in your living room, the Holy Spirit, by God's sovereign hand, has led you through scrolling. If you come across this broadcast, Jesus saved. To the unknown. No matter how far you go, no matter how many have already come, though millions have come, there's still room at the cross for you. Is there one today where you come? somebody in the house the Holy Spirit is moving upon your heart no man comes to Jesus except the Father draws him yeah, yeah. yield, submit to him and come just as you are you may be weary, you may be worn, you may be sad, but if you come to Jesus, in him you can find a rest in him He'll make you glad. Is there one today? Come to Jesus. Oh Lord our God, we thank you for loving us. Thank you, Lord. For being the one who gives peace which surpasses all understanding. Lord, if there are one in the virtual space or even here in person yeah. who's struggling or troubled in spirit and mind, God, we ask that you would lift the burden. Yeah. And even, God, if you don't take us out of the situation, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. And you are our refuge, you are our strength. Yeah. You are very present help in trouble. Yes, sir. You are the one who comes alongside of us. You get in our situations with us. Yeah. That, so that that which seems unbearable, yeah. you'll make it bearable. Yeah. Yeah. We're almost at the point of being hopeless. You encourage our hearts and we cry out, weeping men do it for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Lord, bless your people. Bless Pastor Smith, his wife. Crown his head continually, Lord, with wisdom. Be his strength. Grant him power as he continues to lead and feed and take heed to himself and the flock. So that one day, God, you'll be willing to say, Sir, well done. God, we thank you. thank you. We pray that you will receive our worship and praise as a sweet aroma in your nostril. Yeah. God, you're good to us. Yeah. And we say thank you. It's this, God, we pray. We ask in the name of Jesus. And now by faith. Not doubting, but believing by faith, God. We believe it is already done. Yeah. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Every heart that is here, greet and say, Amen.
everyone. Good evening. Good evening. I thought I was going to be doing this with my pretty mama, but she's going to come up here. You've done a good job. Go ahead. <laughs> you do such a better job than me, but I do the best I can. My mama gets pretty and prettier every day. I wish. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the presentation part of our program. And right before I came up here, I actually Googled a uh, scripture, appreciation scripture. And uh, <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to um, happy 19th anniversary. Um, we wish you all many, many more. But we're going to have each one of our auxiliaries to come up here and present your presentations. Um, to our pastor, you lead our congregation by opening God's word, and then you live your word, reflecting all that we've heard. You care for others deeply and lift them up in prayer. And when we face misfortune, we know that you will always be there. We really love you, pastor, for everything you do. And we thank God for giving us a pastor like you. Right. To our pastor's wife, it takes a special person to be a pastor's wife, but it is not an easy task or an either easy way of life. When God, when people need a helping hand on you, we know we can depend. For you always try your best to be a faithful friend. We appreciate you. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to have um, presentations from each one of the auxiliaries. We have the mission board. If they could come up. Hopewell. Happy anniversary to our past and first lady, Reverend Sister Smith. On behalf of the mission board, I would like to say we appreciate you, and this is just a little token of our love. All right. All right. Next, we're going to have um, here's um, a card from. Charlie and Dorothy Fortson as well. We'll give that to you. Right. Um, next we have the Deacon Board. Uh, on behalf of the Deacon Board, Pastor Smith, Sister Smith, we'd like to wish you a happy. 19th anniversary. And also, this other one will be from the church. A happy anniversary. And that's the, to the pastor right there. That's Sunday. So, like I say, we wish you a happy anniversary and we wish you many, many, many more. Amen. <laughs> Put it in Smith basket. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you going to pre play this? Okay, Pastor Smith, we also have something here from the uh, Pastor's Aid Committee. Yeah. All right. uh, from the Smith family. I have something from uh, Smith Family and Smith Transportation Services. <laughs> okay, is there anybody else? The yeah. Ballinger. Oh, yeah, Ballinger. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. yes. This is Ballinger. That's right. Maybe you need to be <laughs> Um, this is for um, Sister Smith. Um, wanted to wish. This is from the um, 
their um, speaker wives and their council wives. So we just want to give you a, a token of our appreciation. Anybody else? Right here. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Story. I was going to be trying to begin that I said that celebration is about love. So this is a token of love for myself and my wife to you and your wife. makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me to beside still water. He restores my soul, and he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. God, thank you for our pastor and Sister, Le uh, Sister Smith. We wish you many, many more anniversaries.
for Stewart County. All right. and like I said, it's a blessing just to be here. And my wife is, is uh, you all know Sherry, Cheryl Threats. Wow. You know it's Cheryl Scrubs. <laughs> Thank you. Let the church show you. We're having more preachers on this side. Any more preachers? Let the church say man. I know we've got some preaching on this side. Let the church say man. Happy to be here for the 19th anniversary of the Pastor. Let the church say man. Let the church say man. Dr. Harry, we're with this side. Amen. Amen. Name is Pastor Eric Lindsay. I'm the proud pastor of Sweet Home Baptist Church. And uh, I bring you greetings and want to congratulate you on your anniversary. And let me say this real quick. Since I've been preaching down this way, uh, it was your brother who invited me to come this way. And you know, when I would encounter somebody, and I said, well, I know Cleo Smith. And they would say, well, have you met his brother? I said, he got a brother that preaches too. And I said, no, I hadn't met him, and go a little further, and somebody would come and say, well, you know Cleo, but you know he got a brother named Pastor Frank Smith that preaches, he passed the Hope well. And so, as I've been going, people have been asking me that, and I said, no, I hadn't met him yet. And I came to the conclusion, I said, man, this fellow must be somebody in the Lord. <laughs> and so I'm blessed and privileged today to be able to come, sir, and, and, and at least meet you or see you face to face. And uh, I want to say this, that is my friend and my brother, I guess, speaker. God bless you, uh, Pastor. And I'm just blessed today uh, to be here. Well, damn my brother, so y'all see your folks here. Yeah. Let the church say Stand up and just say hello. your wife, you, 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 I, I handled the Sunday school and just, just, just come with her and uh, let the church say amen. And I, 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 and I came with her, you know, sometimes you, you can't hurt your wife. <laughs> Thank God for, I didn't know Dr. Maddox was 84 years old, and the other Maddox, let the church say amen. <laughs> Coming and giving us and giving his son support. Amen. And we thank God once again for another son about Reverend Jeremy. Let the church say amen. amen. Now we thank God for all these preacher wives and thank God for um, uh, um, uh, the deacon wives. And just, just thank God for all of you. Now I, 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 I certainly thank God for this man who has spoke to us out of the deathless. And he preached to I, 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 he preached to me. I needed that. <laughs> Do you do it? Oh Lord, help me. Certainly <laughs> we just give him the praise and we give him the thanks and 
And we thank all of you. Thank Hopewell. Amen. 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 We thank God for we got some good deacons out. Let the church say amen. 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 We're, we're going to mind giving the pastor support. Amen. And we thank God for uh, all, all, we thank God for the whole church because next to saying you start calling names, that you might miss somebody. Yeah. Yeah. But we just thank God for all of you. And uh, 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 Sister William, whenever she get up to sing, she knows she get to me. Uh, and so we thank God for all those who all from the program and all that we've heard, all that we've seen, and uh, we just give God the praise and the thanks. Sister Smith told me uh, 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 she's going back to, uh, and trying to help get the food ready. Let the church say amen. amen. And we do have some tables set back there for the pastor and his guests. And, uh, first, and, and uh, we ask that you all go back and share with us because we're looking to continue the fellowship and give God the praise and the thanks. Now, is there any other announcements? Thank God, Sister Smith and Sister uh, uh, Harold, Sister Harold, thank God for the work that you have done. Amen. And just for the whole church, we give God the praise and the thanks. Now, is there any other announcements? Certainly, I want to say I love you. And many times I say, Reverend, I love you if you don't love me. Oh. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're going to turn it back into the hands of Reverend Ma Elder Maddox, and he will give us the benediction, final words, and the grace. And certainly we ask that we all go back and just uh, continue to give God praise and thanks. Let the church say amen. 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 Once again, let the people of God say amen. amen. We're grateful for the Lord allowing and blessing us to be here with you. Pastor Smith, thank you for allowing us to come and share on this wonderful 19th year celebration that the Lord has blessed you all to be together. I uh, hope well and may God continue to bless you richly is our prayer. Uh, we did not lift our mother-in-law's name because this is her church, but we're grateful always to see uh, our mother by marriage and all of our family. Real quick, my family, y'all stand so they can see who you are. Kevin Mullins came and shared with us. Amen. Give God praise for my family. Brother Ryan, I appreciate your ministry. May God continue to bless you richly. Let us stand.
Let us pray for one another, to God. We're living in the last days, and God, we're trusting that in your time and your way, you're going to come and receive the church unto yourself. Lord, we ask that you be with us and we fellowship together. Give us words of encouragement, edification, and not those that will tear down. Continue to bless this church family. Hope we all we call her name before you. Continue God to supply what you know she stands in need of. And Lord, when all is said and done, we will give you praise and trust and believe that you will receive glory. For you are only able to glorify yourself. God, we thank you now. And as we go down from this place, keep us in your watchful care. This we pray and we ask in the name of Jesus. Now may the grace, the peace, and the love of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit who ask you to let it rest, let it rule, and let it abide with these thy people henceforth, now and forevermore. And all of God's children, let us be agreed and say, Amen. Amen.